Let's cross live, shall we, to Liverpool. Join our senior reporter, Melissa Reddy, who's there for us. Melissa, lovely to see you. Thank you so much uh, for coming on to share your thoughts on this. Uh, why do you think it's slot that Liverpool want at Anfield? I think he ticks all of their key c criteria. And the main ones of which is he's shown this consistent trend of implementing a very dominant, aggressive style of football and also improving players both individually and collectively, taking obscure talents and really making their gifts sing. Now, when you think of the post Jurgen Klopp era, imagine how different things are going to feel around Liverpool, even for us covering them. And I think the last thing the club wants is for players to also have a big departure in their football. And with Slot, his approach and his preferred formations marry well already with what Liverpool currently do. So there's no stylistic upheaval for these players to absorb. Then you also look at the progression throughout his career, which builds up to that league title that he did win with Feyenoord last season. You can see a manager who's consistently evolving and growing and developing. And he still is so far away from his ceiling. There's a lot more to offer. And I think that's why he wants to take the next step in his career, and when we're looking at the managerial landscape this summer, I think the key thing for a lot of clubs is that now looking for that next batch of top talent. Uh, what slot himself, you know, does he want to move to Anfield? I mean, he'd presume so, a massive club? Yeah. All the indications are a very strong yes. The fact that the clubs are actually in discussions at the moment over him being appointed at Anfield is the clearest indication that he wants to succeed. Jürgen Klopp and sources in Holland told me this morning that they actually expect the process to be very, very speedy because of his desire to take this job. Uh, Melissa, are Liverpool going to have to pay out some sort of compensation to final, do we think? Yes, and my understanding is it will be in the region of around £9 million now. Both clubs, Feyenoord and Liverpool, they don't want to give minute-by-minute minute updates on how things are progressing, but I was told two very important things. Feyenoord want to make sure that this deal is right for them, and Liverpool are saying, you know, an opening bid, it's just merely a starting point. So reports that uh, an initial £7.75 million pounds has been rejected, that's not really a massive thing because when you put in your first formal offer, it really is just the start of the negotiation point. You're not going to go in immediately with your top offer for the manager now. The clubs have been very respectful. The relationship is quite good. Um, and I think Feyenoord themselves, while the desire is to keep slot, they're also understanding of the fact that he wants to test himself. And this is a really, really big opportunity. And they wouldn't want to stand in his way. Uh, Melissa, I mean, you've already touched on it, haven't you, with, with, with his formation that he plays and his style of football, but does it feel like, in some ways, Slot is the natural successor to Klopp? I don't think there is a natural successor to Jurgen Klopp. He is such a special individual. He, the bond he's developed with the squad, the club, the city, and, and I think just the Premier League in general will be remembered for decades to come. And... From the onset, when he made his announcement, Liverpool were very clear that they're not looking for a Klopp 2.0 because there isn't one, and they don't want a Klopp light. What they ultimately want is somebody who can come in and continue this trend of playing very dominant, aggressive football. They've got a very, very strong structure off the pitch, Liverpool. So I think the main thing they were looking for is who can come in and continue our way of playing. And remember, Liverpool, it's not just the first team that set up the way they do and, and have these footballing principles. It's all the way through the age group. So they need a form of continuity. 
And I think we also need to remember that Liverpool as a club today are very different from the club that Jurgen Klopp uh, stepped into. They don't need that massive transformation and that aura. And also, if we're being honest with ourselves, as I explained, the managerial landscape is so different this summer that it's hard to actually find that aura in in the next uh, group of managers. You have to sort of take a risk, be brave, and hopefully develop the next one. I think that's what a lot of the top clubs are minded to be doing this summer.